This is a Tesla coil I built. It is based off of Nikola Tesla's design for a resonant transformer. Um, it operates slightly differently to a standard Tesla coil. This is called a bipolar model, which has two, two terminals on top, rather than the more traditional unipolar model, which just has one, one central torus that uh, discharges to the ground. Uh, but it operates off of the same principle. So a Tesla coil has two coupled circuits, and these circuits are called LC circuits, which means they have inductance and capacitance. So inductance is the property uh, in a coil. So underneath here is a coil of wire. This is the primary circuit. And um, this coil of wire, because it has, because um, a wire has a magnetic field, it can produce a counter voltage, um, you know, which opposes the current flow, um, as well as capacitors, which build up a charge. That's the C of the LC circuit. Build, builds up a charge and opposes current flow. Um, and so LC circuits have a defined resonant frequency, which is the frequency that they would naturally oscillate at when uh, current is applied. So, um, you know, with the circuit, with the, indu the inductor, which is the coil and the capacitor, um, based off of the values of inductance and capacitance, you can determine what the frequency of the current would be back and forth in the circuit. Um, and so what Tesla did was he said, um, if, you have, if you have one LC circuit, uh, you can couple that with another LC circuit and transfer energy. So the secondary is, um, you know, it's coupled through, uh, through the coil. So the inductor in the primary circuit is, uh, it surrounds an inductor for the secondary circuit which um, has many more turns um, and it has, uh, and the, you know, the turns uh, do the magnetic field, you know, has inductance. Uh, and then also there aren't any capacitors in the secondary circuit, which is just, you know, the terminal from one end connected to the end of the uh, coil here, end of the coil here is connected back to the terminal on that end. Uh, there aren't any standard capacitors like there are over here, but um, what happens is when there's a current flowing through, the charge differences between each individual, each individual loop of wire and the charge difference between uh, the top here, the terminals, that acts as a capacitance. Um, so you have two LC circuits and they both have a defined resonant frequency of oscillation. So, um, based off of the uh, based off of uh, the resonant frequency, if both of them have the same resonant frequency, it makes energy transfer between the circuits very efficient, um, and that's how you can build up power in another coupled circuit. So, the circuit works like this: uh, I have a oil burner ignition transformer which uh, steps up um, ordinary wall outlet voltage up to 10,000 volts um, and at 23 milliamps. And so it's connected to one end of a, of a spark gap, which is connected to an end of a capacitor array, um, which in these capacitors are just set up like this, uh, such that they form the proper capacitance needed, uh, needed to oscillate at the correct resonant frequency. And uh, then the other end of the capacitors um, is attached over through here into the inductor, the coil, primary coil, which is about five turns of wire. Then that comes back and connects to the uh, other end of the spark gap. So it's not a closed circuit to start with, but uh, when a current is applied, and, uh, it starts to build up a charge across the capacitors. Um, and then uh, once enough charge is built up, it can break down the air, it can ionize the air in between the spark gap. And then in that brief instant of a spark between these two brass balls, um, a current is now flowing through, through the whole circuit. And when a current flows through the whole circuit, uh, because it's an LC circuit, it oscillates rapidly as that brief, in that brief instant 
when it's flowing um, across the spark gap. So it oscillates very rapidly back and forth. I estimated mine to be about 1.7 megahertz oscillation compared to ordinary wall outlet um, is just 60. So uh, based off of, because we have an LC circuit, uh, it can oscillate rapidly back and forth um, at over, over a million times per second. And then as it does that, um, due to Faraday's law of induction, uh, you have a magnetic field on, on, in this coil here, in this inductor, and uh, that magnetic field is constantly expanding and collapsing as the current is switching direction. So um, switching direction back and forth um, over a million times a second, it's expanding and collapsing, and a changing magnetic field um, will induce a current in this um, in this other coil, which is coupled with you know coupled um, with the uh, primary coil around it. Uh, so the changing magnetic field induces uh, current in in here wire wirelessly, but um, just due to uh, magnetism. And uh, when that happens, um, you're basically pumping energy from the primary into the secondary, uh, and then once you have enough energy transfer as, as those oscillations uh, start to die out in the primary and the energy is mostly transferred to the secondary with enough voltage buildup, which can be hundreds of thousands of volts uh, due to the high number of, um, high number of lo uh, loops of wire in this coil, the, ter the terminals will break down across here and then you have rapid, rapid oscillations and um, and then uh, in an ideal circuit, these oscillations, when this breaks down, would transfer energy back to the primary, which would then oscillate um, with the capacitors. But what ends up happening is you have some energy loss as heat, so not all can be transferred back to the primary um, and through the circuit, and then back to the secondary. Um, that would be an ideal case, but of course you have sparks across the spark gap, which lose energy and sparks across there, which also um, release energy as heat. Uh, so it's not ideal, as well as uh, unwanted resistance in the, in the coils here, um, which is going to happen in any circuit. Uh, so overall idea, you have two coupled circuits that have uh, inductance and capacitance. Each circuit has a defined resonant frequency, and they're both matched by adjusting the values of inductance and capacitance. And then when they're matched, uh, energy transfers is helped and you can transfer energy efficiently from the primary circuit, which is the main circuit coming from your uh, power from the wall outlet, uh, up to the secondary, which is much higher voltage and uh, lower current. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope uh, you enjoy the demo of the Tesla coils sparking.